Hello, this is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I was going to do a voiceover for this, but I figured I would just make it a lot simpler. And it was going to be a little bit easier for me to just talk as I go. So I wanted to let you know that these carts can be pushed onto my rug, basically to compact my craft area. And then this baker's rack can slide right in front of that white hutch to make the whole area compact while I'm not using it. It is the dining room of a one bedroom condo. So I have the whole area to myself. I have friends artwork. My mom painted the one that looks like Bob Ross because that's who she learned from. And so these carts can go into this area and I just push them onto the rug if I need to. This one is an Ikea Rascog cart. It is the only Ikea Rascog cart I have. The other three are the Michaels. And there's two here. Um, this one is having issues. It is definitely, and I've also chipped the paint somehow. Um, the wheels are bending out and I think it's because it's even tilted. I don't know if you can tell. I think it's because I put my die cutting machine on top and um the weight of it is messing with the wheels um someday i will drop the money on three more rascog carts to replace these because that one is definitely uh stronger and it moves around these ones get very loose and they have to be tightened and they're just very cheap so these hold my stamps, and I have my stamp market dividers, which have helped a lot. Then I have sections like Christmas, Valentine's Day, and Halloween, which is one of the better decisions I made because it makes it super easy to swap out my floating cart, which is this one here. So what that means to me is things that I want to use in the current season. So either the current holiday or the current season get swapped into here or any stamps that are new rather than just putting them away over here and forgetting about them, then that way I can try to use them. So that's what my floating card is. Current stamps, current papers. The bottom never changes. Those two binders are um, my smaller stamps because they're in divided pocket sleeves to make it easier. So... I move these around. Usually I'll lay all three of these out like behind me to kind of create an office for me to be in. Makes me feel all cozy. Um, then on here is where I keep my Martha Stewart scoreboard, which is under those divider pages. And my trimmer. And then this is just kind of a catch-all bucket. We all have one. Or area. And then this one here is my heat embossing stuff and my glue gun. The second drawer is my punches. I have lowered the amount of punches I have by a lot. This one is plastic bags and electronics I don't know what to do with. Um, I have a computer I don't use very often that's under my desk and then I have a bag of card class stuff that I haven't used in a very long time for obvious reasons. And then also that's where I toss my sticky club each month, just so I know they're all in one place and I don't really have any more room anywhere else. And then if you didn't see in my stories over on Instagram, I just took off all the crap I've been sticking to this poor desk for years and replaced it with marble contact paper. And I am in love with it. And it's not reflective in videos, which is great. The light kind of bounces off of it right there. But when I'm doing videos, I've done like a haul video. Um, it's great in the background and I love it. So I'm very happy that I did that. I need to get some sort of roll of craft type paper to put down when I'm doing stuff that might stain it because I want to try and keep that clean as long as I can. So in front of me, I have various pens, gel pens, pencils in those yogurt cups. I have glue 
spray bottles, things that I reach for often, and then my alcohol markers. So I've got Copics, Tri-Blends, uh, Ohuhu, other various cheap um, alcohol marker brands. And then in front of me, my lamp is a little bit in the way, but I've got my hex chart for Copics, and then I have my Tri-Blend chart because I do reach for those a lot. And then a lot of my friend art. That is a photo background. I just hang that there to make it a little bit easier. I'll take pictures of cards on that sometimes. These two stacks of these bins have various things in them, like pens, uh, palette knives. These top two here are all washi tape. Um, and there's lots of different things in them, and they're useful. But I also use them for filming. So I stick two yardsticks across the top. I also have some Stampin' Up! stamp boxes to make that a little higher. And I'll put the yardsticks across the top to film. This is just sitting here because it's a bunch of extra brushes I got. It was in a Michaels haul that I just did. And then to the left of that, I have the box of all my watercolor tubes. Sorry, I'm going to have to fix the focus every now and then. So all my watercolor tubes, some have been spit out into palettes, some have not, but they're all in there for now. I'll probably need a bigger box at some point. This is a Stampin' Up! card kit. Um, here I have pre-cut, pre-folded cards, um, envelopes, a lot of prepared envelopes uh, for Happy Mail, and then random things in there. All my acrylic box are in the bottom drawer. Then I basically just have my rainbow order cardstock. And this actually worked out really well, but I essentially just made it work red, pink, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple, etc., down to blacks and grays. And then in my hutch, this actually came with this place uh, when we bought it. We didn't think, we thought maybe that they, they forgot it, but they left it because it was anchored to the wall. And it was actually in a different spot where our cat tree is now. And so I decided it would be great for craft um, storage since I got rid of a lot of my storage when we moved because I did not want to move it. <laughs> so it actually worked out really well. Um, so now it's here and it's beautiful. Um, my top shelf here has my woodblock stamps that I have also decluttered a lot over time. Extra pens and brushes, some watercolor inks, my binder clips, some decorations, extra, all my extra glues, and then my blending brushes from Tailored Expressions. Then I've got my back stock of Michael's 110 pound card stock. I've got printer paper, that's my sewing kit. And then all my sticker sheets and my let like my letter sticker sheets, some more card stock, some tissue paper. I have my paper tray ink cardstock. I will never run out of cardstock. I have my 12 by 12 um, pattern paper pads with some watercolor art. Um, I didn't know where else to put above it. I have uh, recent art purchases, some gouache, some alcohol markers from Target, and then a box of like Bujo pens basically. And then here, this is actually all my envelopes for cards. Um, this one has magnet sheets, extra foam dimensionals, and slimline card envelopes. I also have a filming arm in there. I don't love that one, but it doesn't not work entirely, so I haven't gotten rid of it. I have some fabric I was trying to make masks with. That didn't go well. Um, a lot of my adhesive in is in here, and then I have a lot of backup alcohol swabs. I actually need to refill my bucket. I'll show you that. This is my bucket that has my pressure pal in it, but I use alcohol swabs for cleaning, so I need to refill that. So I store those in here until then. Um, then this shelf, I've got my laminator. I've got some paper tray ink stamps in the back in the CD cases there. My backup tape runner tape and some Zots. Um, some more 12 by 12 pattern paper, if you can spy the Halloween. And then uh, watercolor paper pads as well. 
uh, my one, two, three envelope punch board and my laminating sheets, among a few other things. Then I got extra stamps, some Stampin' Up! stamps, um, plastic bags, my distress inks, my sequins. That fur is for taking photos. I have wood discs to make ornaments out of. That cup box has acrylic paints in it just because I liked the box and I wanted to keep it. And I have three watercolor ground, which is how you turn any surface, including those wood circles into a watercolor surface. And I have three because Michael's sent me a leaking one, which is in the bag. And they just came today. They sent me a backup. So now I have three. And then over here, and I wanted to show you, I'm going to close the hutch. I usually have this open while I'm crafting, but I'll close it for now. Move my chair out of the way here. So I'm going to link a couple useful items. I will link those hanging shelves that I showed you. I think they're like for the fridge, these white wire hanging shelves. I'm going to link those down below because I think they're really helpful. I'll also link my laptop stand because I found that super helpful to have my computer where I can use it while I'm crafting. If I need to watch a tutorial while I'm doing it, it's a lot easier than doing it on my phone. And so this stand has helped me a lot, including today my mouse was not there and this cord was up or plugged in. I spilled my water jar, the clean water jar, while I was watercoloring all the way down the back. And so it didn't hit cords, which is great. And my laptop didn't get ruined because it was up on a stand. It was still dumb, but all I had to do was clean it up. So that's good. Nothing was damaged. Um, I'm also going to link these marker dividers because they're awesome. I do believe you have to buy them one at a time. So one is one square of four and this will like slide in and out. And then if you buy two, I'll show you this. This little metal clip here connects two of them together. You push it in and it'll connect two of them. And then you can connect two of them on the sides. So you can basically build a grid and each one comes with two of those metal clips, I believe. So it's super helpful. So I have gotten eight over time and that's what keeps my markers in front of me, which I love. And then to the left of my hutch, I have my printer, which I don't use as often as I should but I did buy it so that I could print digital stamps and it did work out. I do have a video a while ago um, on how I print digital stamps involving this printer to make it a little bit easier. Let me know. Um, you can comment if you want me to go find that if you don't want to find it in my videos and I can um, show you. But it is in my videos somewhere. It just says how I print digital stamps. I think it's like orangey yellow and the font is really big. You should be able to find it. And then um, below that I have my 12 by 12 loose sheets of paper divided up by what made the most sense to me. Um, I try to run my dehumidifier. I do live basically in Seattle. So I'm in a place where things will get moist um, if you're not careful, I don't live in a dry climate, which is good for like gouache paints. You don't want drying out. Um, I'm fine with watercolor pans drying out because you can rewet them. Uh, but for paper, this paper and that paper, I try to run the dehumidifier right about in the middle every now and then to make sure my paper doesn't get moist, which is an annoying problem to have to deal with. But it sounds like other people have, whoa worst problems and there's really no happy happy medium you're either in a moist climate or a dry climate so in the baker's rack I have extra ceramic palettes up top I've got some stampin up stamps I haven't been able to use yet I've got extra palettes these are mostly the um prima marketing little palettes I also have artwork just everywhere I don't really have a spot to keep it. Um, a project I never finished 
and then extra watercolor palettes up here. I've got colored. Um, I've got some Catherine Pooler and then my Concord and Ninth colored ink pads. I have cards and cards. That's these two sections here. I keep gloves because going through all of these and when I'm doing stuff like that, I will cut myself. And so sometimes I have to wear gloves because it's impossible. This is like current projects and projects I've put into plastic to protect them. So it's kind of a another catch-all bin. And some giant paintbrushes I don't know where else to put. This one has my label maker. The label maker refills my off-brand ATG tape gun refills. Which sadly work better than the brand ones. Um, and then a couple watercolor palettes. Again, another catch-all kind of area. But I know what's in there. These two are my completely unnecessary larger palette. I did a video showing this one, I believe. A huge um, porcelain watercolor palette. I filled with all my core watercolors, which is Q-O-R. And then a smaller porcelain one that I filled with... Um, I'm actually not sure. I'm not sure which ones I put in there. I don't keep track as much as I probably should because I just reach for colors based on how they look. So there's that. Um, I've got a couple of journals here and then a box of Christmas themed things, mostly embellishments, but also stamps in there. Then this one is a Halloween box. And then I've got a couple watercolor pads and also my cutting boards that I tape watercolor paper to to do painting projects on. Makes it easier to move it around. And then uh, one of my Let's Make Art boxes. I'm going to have to start finding a place for those <laughs> or putting them in a binder. I just don't have a binder for that yet. Um, this is also projects and then kind of watercolor paper pads that I reach for. And also birthday cards at the moment. And then I've got other alcohol markers. Some packaging supplies for paintings that nobody buys. More packing supplies. And then my larger watercolor palettes I wanted to keep in a separate bin and that was a good size for all of those so hopefully I have covered everything from here to there so it's basically just the dining room right by the back door. I can get some natural light if I open that up. And yeah, that's kind of it. I didn't super organize or clean for you guys. I wanted it to be real and I also didn't want to clean and organize. So if you have any questions, let me know down below and I will be happy to answer them. I will link the things that I talked about. And if you have any questions about any other items or anything else, uh, feel free to let me know down below and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.